Hi, it's Tanya Williams here, Chief of Everything at Digital Conversations. Now my video today is a little bit different to what I normally do. And what I'm going to do is a three part series and it's all about blowing up the digital myths. Now on the online world, we are bombarded with messages from every industry expert and, and all sorts of information that we have to decipher in our day to day life. And sometimes it gets a little bit too much and it can be really hard to distinguish what's actual fact and what is myth. So that's what I'm going to do over the next three videos. So let's start by looking at some of those myths and break them down. So firstly, focus on your shoulds, not your coulds. Now, there are lots of things we could do when it comes to digital and marketing. And often we're told we should be on three or four social media channels. We should be doing email marketing, podcasts, video, webinars, you name it. And it's just not realistic as a small business owner to do all of those things. So what we need to do is take a step back and focus on what we should be doing. And what we should be doing is playing in the areas that our audience is already playing in. So what channels are they on? How do they prefer to be communicated in? And choose just you know two or three channels perhaps that you can have that communication with your clients on. Don't try and be everything to everyone, it just won't work. The next thing I want you to look at is your data because data tells a story. Now, you hear the words big data and, and all of those types of things, which can be really overwhelming and confusing, but your numbers are essential because they tell a story and it's a factual story. Your Google Insights, your social media um, insights all give you facts on who is coming to your channels, how long they're staying, what pages they're on and all that sort of thing. You can't create content unless you know um, what's resonating with people and you get that from your data and your numbers, okay? So I know it can be really boring, but it's really important. Social media is now pay to play. So we know that the organic reach on Facebook in particular is ridiculously low. So it's actually gonna be really hard to get any sort of traction unless you're putting some dollars behind um, your campaigns. So just remember that it is a play, pay to play platform now and thinking that you're gonna get great results by every, from every post that you're putting out to you know, a few hundred people is just not gonna be realistic. The next one is don't spread yourself across too many social media channels. Now I see this all the time and small businesses are really guilty of this. They're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, um, uh, YouTube, Twitter, you know, um, Instagram, and they're trying to do all of them and they're doing most of them badly. Again, choose one or two and do them well. And those one or two should be where your audience is already. So what platform or what social media channel are they on? And that's where you need to spend your time and your resources and focus. And the last one I want to share is to respond to comments and interact with your audience. Now, I see this all the time. The new algorithms actually love it when we have interaction with our audience. So we want to encourage people to join us in a two-way conversation. Okay, that might start with asking a question and then someone might respond and then you want to respond back to people making comments on your pages. This is really important, guys. I've done the research, I've done the, the, the trials myself and tested this out and it makes a big difference to your numbers and your visibility online. So again, just a few little tips. We're gonna cover more of these things in the next video. So hopefully you got um, some, some great stuff out of that. And remember, don't let it get overwhelming for you. Break it down and all, if all else fails, it fails, you just breathe and reboot. And in the end of the day, guys, remember to never let anyone dull your sparkle.